This is... Aha! Uh -huh. It's a broken sword! This is proof! This proves that the god of... The power of this sword surely is much... If we can repair the sword, then we can... Sh Two pieces of a broken sword. From an archaeological perspective, these are two separate relics. W why We were alternating claims to treasure, true. Yes, but the only one object per claim... Cl <laughs> this... Um, Zhang Li, she seems like a... When there's a contract, nothing can be allowed to slide. No! If I only take one half, then it can't be repaired, and the power of the God of Salt cannot be restored! No matter what, I must be faithful, even if it breaks the contract. I So you are already decided? Shang Li! That is to say, you consign yourself to suffer the wrath of the rock. That that's okay. The god of salt gave up her life to protect her. Punish me however you want. No, you can't hit her! Perhaps that punishment would be easier for her as punishment. I will tell you the truth. Huh? The truth? Yes. The truth that I am about to tell you shall be your price to pay for breaking the contract. I'm afraid to say that the God of Salt, Havria, was not the powerful god you imagine her to be. Rather, she was a small and weak god who yielded to all other gods. When it came to war, she lost, never able to win a seat among the Seven. What? During the Archon War, the gods of this world used all their strength and cunning to vie for control of Tevat. But Havria instead chose to flee. She thought that by giving up before a fight could start, she could save herself and her people from the war. However, during such a long war, there is no end to the advances of aggressors. After making countless concessions, Avria lost all of her lands. No. No! It can't be so- In her last days, she had not even a single blade to defend her people with. Not even a single blade? Then... This sword- This sword is not a relic belonging to the God of Salt, but is instead the murder weapon used to- Murder weapon? No! That's not true! That can't be true! As I said before... Preposterous! You, you are a follower of Morax! Don't tr Hey! Hey! Come back! Indeed. Otherwise, why would I use the truth as punishment? I did not want to tell her such cruel facts. Let's follow her deeper into the ruin. There, I feel. Salt and betrayal.
What are all these? What did they see? What? Since you do not trust me, let us continue onward. That which lies beyond this door will... This is the scene of the crime. Havria's body dissipated, leaving nothing but these traces of salt. Her dying moments have since been frozen in time to this very day. <gasps> the story continues that some among her people realized at last that this gentle, kind, but weak god could never protect anyone in war. The Archon War was cruel in the extreme. Instead of consigning her to the agony of defeat... But... What about these statue thingies? No matter how weak the god, the power that flows forth when they are slain is beyond... Those who could not flee were thus transformed. Those of her people who were untouched by this disaster left for Lyra where they sought refuge with Rex Lapis. Their descendants feared Havria's remnants, so they risked their lives to come here, to break the sword and offer up obeisances in hopes that her anger might... But they need not have done so. For how could a god who had never once resisted... Uh, I... Even if this is so, I can't! This must be a lie. Don't you dare try to shake my... Yikes. Xiang Li didn't show any mercy this time either. This is the price she must pay. Yet I would not call it a bad thing. Judging by how she appeared, I fear that she will struggle for a time. But even if she may not escape that struggle immediately... Simply recognizing the truth is good indeed. In ages past, Havria's story served as a warning to me as faith in a god who has already passed will do you no good. So it is for Havria. And so it is for Morax. All right then. Huh? What do you want to do, Zhongli? <sighs> Treading old ground. Telling old stories, one cannot help but be reminded of old acquaintances. 